Hand the Minecraft Illusioner. Whatever happened to this guy? Wasn't he supposed to be leading the Illagers? Stay tuned and let's discuss. Hey there guys, Skippy here for Room Skippy 6 Gaming. Guys, coming to you from Java Edition right now because we are going to talk about something cool and new and interesting is these Illusioners, guys. Remember how cool we were talking about these Illusioners? And then they kind of just disappeared into the middle of nowhere. So uh, for this one here, let's go for 241 likes. If you are one of those dudes, don't forget to hit me up below. So guys, this came from... I was looking at old tweets and I was like, you know, I'm thinking about, I'm like, where's this Illusioner going? Because this was a big deal when it came out. Everybody was like, oh, Illusioner, Illusioner, Illusioner. And it just kind of just disappeared, right? You know, this is like, so we are going to talk about this now, guys. Twitter is the best place to get all of the information and all of the updates and stuff like that with regards to all these kind of weird new changes that are going on in Minecraft. And uh, yeah, this kind of is cross version, right? Because village and pillage is, is kind of a thing. So let's dig deep. We're not going to have to dig too deep. We are only going to have to dig a little bit deep. And we could do this by simply looking at this tweet right here. Uh, this tweet right here is by Corey Cheviak. He's kind of one of the big uh, Minecraft developers these days. And this is from like a month ago, give or take, maybe uh, two days less. A few things. Illusioners are not going to appear in vanilla right now. Sorry. We have cool raid reward in the works. That's, that's Hero of the Village and has already been accomplished. Raid AI is currently incomplete. It will be completed and it is most likely almost complete right now so that makes us feel good about it basically we feel good about that right so we're gonna keep going down the list what is an illusioner well basically what we have right here is an illusioner this was discussed you know it came out maybe in 17 w so you know like two updates ago and they kind of bragged and they showed this so this is the illusioner it is an actual mob in minecraft i'm going to show you how to get it it is only summonable there is no mob egg, there is no nothing like that, but I feel like this illusioner was supposed to be, uh, was definitely supposed to be part of the actual, uh, uh, I think it was going to be like the leader of, I feel like it was going to be the leader of the illagers, I'm feeling 100% sure, basically it has a bow with it, it does this stuff, you can only spawn it with a summon command, that said, going down the list you can see these are the first kind of screens of it long time ago basically what it does is when it's attacked or when something dangerous happens it drinks an invisibility potion it disappears and creates four fake illusioners that will then continue to attack and you have to figure out which one's which i'm pretty sure that's how that works so moving down the line you can also see that this right here this is them with the banner so i feel honestly guys i feel like the illusioner was supposed to be the leader of the illagers but something happened where they were like, it's too much work to get all of this done. And now the, the illager leader is just a regular illager, right? Doesn't do anything different. Or a pillager, let me let me explain this. Pillager. But he's using the same banner. I think they backtrack because there's just too much to do to add a whole new type of mob. In addition to pillagers and their mechanics. And the actual pillagers got... Uh, crossbows so that kind of makes these bows a little incoherent so uh, going down the line let's just look at what exactly they do illusioners have no spawn egg in the creative inventory can only be spawned using the summon illusioner command unlike other illagers illusioners do not spawn in woodland matches so basically what they're saying is that I think they changed it to make different types so now what happens is illagers are in the woodland mansions and pillagers do raids from those outposts. So I feel like they're gonna come later. I feel like illusioners are not canceled. They're just not gonna be a pillager. Sometime in the near future, they're gonna do a magic update or something like that and add illusioners to the illagers in the woodland mansion. So, uh, nor like unused giant mob, do they naturally spawn in any biome. So. When killed by a player, they uh, drop their loot, which is a bow, uh, with a good percentage of it being a looting bow, uh, and it drops random durability. Illager banner, if it is a leader, it is going to always drop the banner when defeated. So we know this is not accurate anymore. We know that the, we know that pillagers have banners now. Illagers do not, and that is not going to be the way it is. So again, not canceled, but not being used either. Let's keep going. Behavior. They attack players, villagers, iron golems, and wandering traders. So this is pretty interesting. Uh, within about 12 blocks, the attacks with its spells and with its bows. It is the only illager that can see its targets through walls. 
and an illusioner always try to maintain a consistent distance between players and itself. So it tries to stay back. It, it tries to not have a big distance. It tries to shoot your bow and not come too close so you can sort it up. An illusioner has two spells, a spell that blinds its opponent and a spell that summons and duplicates and makes the illusioner invisible. So uh, blindness spell will only be cast if the difficulty is greater than two. Upon first engaging with a new opponent, an illusioner casts a blindness spell that affects lasts for 20 seconds. It signals this by raising its arms and making a strange horn-like sound. We'll wonder if they fixed that yet. A black smoke illusioner will not cast a spell more than once on the same opponent unless it has shifted attention to another opponent and then back to the original opponent. So only once per person uh, if it's fighting one person. This spell resists the illusioner spell cooldown to one second and resets the cooldown for the blindness spell to nine seconds. So uh, last but not least, I think we got one more. Summoning duplicates. As long as Illusioner is engaged in combat, it will cast an invisibility effect that lasts for 60 seconds. It will refresh that effect whenever invisibility runs out. It does this by raising its arms, strange high-pitched sound, and a blue smoke unlike the black smoke. When an Illusioner becomes invisible through this or any other method, it creates four false duplicates of itself. These hover over a short distance from the actual invisible, invisible Illusioner, though they will not really space themselves out until the first time the illusioner is ever attacked these duplicates face the exact way and same direction as the real illusioner and move somewhat in the same step as the original sometimes appearing to no clip through walls ceilings and floors they will use shooting animation whenever it uses its bow only the real illusioner can shoot and be damaged so no matter how many arrows you see, there's only one arrow flying from the real illusioner. Uh, eventually, the clones were not triggered, are still bunched together. More new positions. The illusioner can also do this once in a while to refresh the clone's position. When the illusioner is damaged, it duplicates all snap back to where the real illusioner is. So you'll see that you'll know where the real one is by hitting one. When you hit it, they're all gonna zoom right back in and do it, signaling the hit. If a visible illusioner receives the glowing effect, all the duplicates will glow while the true illusioner will remain invisible duplicates dissipate once the illusioner's invisibility effect ends this spell resets the illusioner spell cooldown to one second and resets the cooldown to invisibility spell to 17 seconds so for me i'm not sure why i'm why i'm as concerned with that because i am a little concerned because it looks like they got most of the work done with the illusioner and i don't see why they wouldn't do it but basically I feel like they've backtracked. At the end of the day, there is no illusioner. In none of the last two snapshots have you seen any talk about this illusioner. In fact, they've actually quite gone a different way. I think before what they wanted to do was have all the bad villagers were going to be illagers. And I think they've switched it up so now pillagers are actually pillagers. And illagers are actually illagers. And yeah, so let's let's go ahead and uh, summon this guy. It's pretty easy. You're going to do summon... Let's summon tab, tab, bang. I don't know, sure, why not? Right there. So you can see we have an illusioner. He looks like a regular illager. He has that green eye. He does look like a pillager, though, as well. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So I think what I'm going to do is go into survival game mode. It might be loud, but you get to see a real action because he will attack the villagers if he sees them. So slash. And you can see what he'll do. So first of all, he's going to come at me. He's going to try to cast blindness on me at some point in time. Assuming this still works, I'm thinking. Uh, so hopefully we could do this. I guess he didn't attack. So if I hit him now, basically what's going to happen is he's going to now... So now he splits out. See what we got going there? Basically, he didn't cast blindness. So we might be... I'm in a snapshot right now. So I feel like there's a possibility that it's not working in that specific way. But you could tell there's only one arrow coming from the whole group of them, right? So that's pretty fair. I'm gonna actually run a little farther because I don't want to die. And we're gonna go around here and play with him a little bit more. So let's do uh, slash. And let's do that because we don't want to die. That would be funny. I didn't spawn, I didn't save, so. Uh, we would end up going far away and you can see exactly how it operates i think if i hit him see how he's not the actual illusioner the actual illusioner is somewhere in the middle of them notice how he's not in danger now but as soon as you hit him he will be so 
I think we'll do this. Let's go take him over to the village so you can see a little bit more of his ruckus behavior. And we'll leave it at that. I just wanted to bring it up because I feel like it was like, uh, it was like kind of forgotten about. Everybody was like, this illusioner, who's the illusioner? And it was already discussed. So at the end of the day, bang, illusioner's in. So you can see he's like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. he's mad. So I think that first one there is he blinded somebody. And I feel without getting attacked, so he doesn't mind attacking baby villagers. Pretty, pretty not nice. But if you hit him, he splits out and he'll keep going. And there you guys go, man. Don't forget to smash that like before you go. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to uh, Skippy Six Love Gaming, and yeah, learn more about cool things in Minecraft like the Illusioner and such. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> Ha 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 ha